and welcome to the Ron Ron Show. <laughs> All right, let's take some calls then, if okay. you wish. Mm -hmm. All right, this will be John in Arizona. Hello, John, Arizona. Hey, Mr. Martin. How are you? Yeah, I, I want to ask you something before I get to my question. You know when you did that two-hour special? What? And you were vomiting? Why were you vomiting? Did you swallow too much cum? Uh, well, no, no, good man. I had something like a stomach virus. Uh, but what you have got is a soul virus uh, that's eating you up. Because you're hoping that Mitt Romney will let you come over and drink from his toilet. Pity you screech of you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Cyrus. Hello, Riley. Anyway, uh, the Biavians never came out with, like, a satellite technology for you to not have to beg uh, Howard for a job? Uh, well, I mean, otherwise, I'm not begging him for a job. I figure if I work for you, Cyrus, for four years that probably you would give me a raise or, or move me up a notch or something of that nature. But then you again, up? you are uh, a decent human being, are you not? Yeah, but so aren't the Biavians bigger than uh, human beings, and shouldn't they give you a raise? Well, I mean, my goodness, son, I'm not uh, broadcasting from outer space. But I'm you, here, um, and I'm doing a job, I'm doing a job here, and... Uh, I do not request anything that I have not earned. If I'm not worth it, don't give it to me. Like a and that's rep all that I have to deal with in the, the relativity of where I am and what I'm doing. You know? Yeah, I mean, and uh, what kind of beer do they have there? What kind of food poisoning do they have in uh, outer space? Well, anything you want, son, they will make it for you. Okay. Well, then they can make your job happen for you, right? Well, no, you could. No, I can't. I ain't nobody. Well, I mean, otherwise, if enough of you would chime in, you could. Well, I'm chiming in on behalf of uh, my Jew friends. Mm, repeat. I'm chiming in on, my, on behalf of my Jew, fr my Jewish friend, my half Jewish friend. Yeah. And on behalf of him. Yeah, on behalf of him? Yeah. Uh, well, kid, maybe he would give you some of the $500 million he's got. Uh, or uh, me another hour. Uh, no, he might even, he might just answer a call, but then sometimes he won't. Like, you don't have to depend on other people for your shit. Like, you got to make sure. Well, uh, it's like this. It's their station. It is up to you if I am worthy to get some more time. I don't or if I'm interesting it. enough for you to do it. Let me tell you something. I don't pay for Howard Channels because then I'll pay less. I pay for Sirius. Sirius is on behalf of what you do, not Howard. Uh, son, he hired me. He yeah, on to right. yeah, right. And plus, he does a lot of things for uh, those people who've been sucking up to him for years. He got them jobs and he got them raises and everything else. But uh, that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. You know, but you I'm really not. Yeah, I'm really not. Job. But you don't you have to speak up for him. You know, you don't have to speak up for him. I'm not speaking up for him. I, I just think you fucking wrong is uh, two left shoes and shit. Uh, in what manner? You're not right. Uh, in what manner to ask you for a raise after four years or a little more time? That makes me a villain. You're not a villain. That's not what he was saying. That's not what I'm saying. What you you just, saying? All I'm saying is you you uh, find the deal that you get, and you have to earn your job, and you don't even see that Howard might not even be on after all this. And, yeah, people are interested in you, but they might not, you know, once Howard's gone, is there any interest? It's almost like... Even Miami Vice got canceled, and then they made a major most in picture. Are you Miami Vice? Well, it's, yeah, yeah, son. If you figure that you can cancel the data that I'm giving you ever, then you're rudely mistaken. But thanks for the call, man. I'm not rudely mistaken. I'm just uh, right. Not like you. Uh, All right, moving along. If, I, if I would turn around, son, he'd break your nose, wouldn't he? <laughs>
Cecil in Pennsylvania. Hello, Cecil in Pennsylvania. Hey, uh, all salami and bacon, my brother. Hey, Riley, mm-hmm. I, I'd like to ask your uh, your feeling on uh, this Black on Black show. Mm-hmm. Uh, seeing, seeing that you were, uh, you know, prior to these, uh, these two guys, uh, you were the, the token Negro there at uh, on, on the <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Now, now, now these two uh, unqualified shines come in and get ten hours of airtime last week to yeah. uh, cover <laughs> Scotty Perel. And then, yeah. how does this work? Uh, well, this is unreasonable. Well, it was how I was doing because he said he nicks me. He told Tim, you know, I don't think people need that much Riley or what have you. I disagree with him. I wish I had been in the lineup. However. Uh, uh, you know, uh, the guys, I'm glad that they made some bucks or were able to make some bucks, and I'm not mad at them or anything like that. It's not their fault. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm certainly not mad at them, but I wish they had given me a couple of hours or something since I've been here about six years. You know what I mean. Well, I, well, I would certainly certainly think you're entitled. Uh, well, uh, certainly. <laughs> Uh, but I mean, uh, Howard didn't. You're, you're, Howard, you're the head nigger on the totem pole over there. Yeah, right? yeah. Well, well, uh, yeah. Well, you know. Otherwise, uh, uh, I'm, uh, you know, not necessarily the head jigaboo, but uh, you know, I'm working my way up to the mouse's house. Thanks. All right. This is Tim in Arizona. <laughs> Hello, Tim in Arizona. The only reason you're on the channel is because it's a goo got fingered by aliens. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah, uh, well, my goodness, and uh, I suppose the highest uh, uh, creatures in the universe is you. <laughs> and, and, and we've shown up in a lot of trouble. You ain't lying. <laughs> All right, next call, this is Jared in Kansas. Hello, Jared in Kansas. Hi. Hey, hey Riley. This uh-huh. is Jared. Can you hear me, sir? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, uh, yeah. Hey, I, uh, I know a lot of people think you're, uh, um, for lack of a better word, like a crackhead and well okay i believe, I, I believe in everything you're saying sir well uh, i mean otherwise uh how would they gather that opinion of me being a crackhead kid i've done this well, show for six years you know and, uh, but anyway you got a question all right thanks for that call yeah. next call this is jason in philadelphia hello hello jason riley what's going on man oh not much jason quick question have you honestly ever sat down and listened to like a playback of your show? Oh uh, yeah, oh uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, it's gibberish. I can't well, understand the word you're saying. Well, you actually okay, want well, Howard to pay well, you more apparently, money? Yeah, apparently, apparently, uh, various others think that they do you're understand. Right. So I'm so sorry, good man, that you do not understand what I'm trying to say. Oh, uh, you know. So start back at start you, back over at kindergarten. Quick question: Have you ever talked to Bofa? Uh, uh, have you? Lee in New Mexico. Hello, Lee in New Mexico. Bubble. Hey, Riley. Hmm. I heard Howard say the reason Steve Langford quit is uh, Steve went to your house to interview you, and he saw you beating the shit out of your wife. Uh. Well. Well, my goodness! Why Stupid. Did, yeah, yeah. Why did not he uh, would have stepped in and stopped that, son? All right. Next call. This would be Dave Magnolia. Hello, Dave and Magnolia. Hello, Mister Martin. I heard he made his imagine the Beyond sequence of fast points of time when they get back into the future, get digging with the Neptunians, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen lots of stars and stripes in the sky and I want to wipe my ass with your symbol. <laughs> yeah, well, 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 son. Oh, oh, when you do that, <laughs> then, uh, then, uh, you try to live another seven days, okay? Rob in New Jersey. <laughs> Rob in New Jersey. Oh, quite one, my brother. Oh, quite one, Rob. Hey, I got a question for you. Um, mm-hmm. I did get a symbol. I liked it so much I had it tattooed on my arm. Okay. Uh, um, I am uh, interested in your bare knuckle background because I'm also a, a prize fighter. Right. What, did you keep your record? Do you know what your record was? 21 and 0. Oh, shit. Was, um, does that include your wife? And uh, well, uh, uh, well, no, no, or? no, my old lady, my old lady would kick your ass. 
<laughs> Next guy, all these fools. Rob in New Jersey. <laughs> Rob in New Jersey. Oqua Tangent One, my brother. Oqua Tangent One, Rob. Hey, I got a question for you. Um, mm -hmm. I did get a symbol. I liked it so much I had it tattooed on my arm. Okay. Uh, um, I am uh, interested in your bare knuckle background because I'm also a, a prize fighter. Right. Well, did you keep your record? Do you know what your record was? 21 and 0. Oh, shit. Was, um, does that include your wife? And uh, was that a oh, well, uh, was well no, 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 my old lady, my old lady would kick your ass. <laughs> uh, next guy, these fools. <laughs> All right, here is Justin in Rhode Island. Hello, Justin in Rhode Island. Hey, happy holidays, Riley. Happy holidays, Justin. Yeah, I just got a question. Uh, out of all the species you've encountered, uh, which one gave it to you up the ass the best? Uh, well, uh, no, it was like uh, the one that gave it to you uh, fell in love with you, <laughs> so they passed on by me. <laughs> yeah, that stuff done played out, idiots. Yeah. Here's Tony in California, Riley. Hello, Tony in California. Hey, Riley, I'm a big fan, big fan. Thanks, Tony. So curious, uh, when he runs not uh, on the air, is he uh, giving you he's sucking your dick? Uh, 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 hey, uh, hey, kid, why don't you go on back and uh, continue doing what you're doing, man? <laughs> this is Toast in Chicago. What's going on, Riley? Hey, how are you, Toast? Uh, not too bad, brother. Hey, quick question for you. I was just kind of curious. What I mean, like, what's like the you know the Biavians eating uh, you know habits? I mean, is it like I mean, are they herbivores? Are they like... Right. Like oh, yeah. They are. They, the Avians are strict vegetarians. Now, they... But they do not eat solids. They render it down into a liquid. And they'll take a little sip of that liquid, and it's a nutrient for them. However, if you were on the ship, uh, they would give you whatever you wanted. I had steak. I had bacon. I had eggs. I had cash browns and things like that. And uh, but it's made out of vegetable matter. But I could not tell that it was not meat. You understand? But yeah, they are vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Well, then that throws out your wife's belly pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever. All right, back to the calls. Here's Mark in Los Angeles. Hello, Mark in Los Angeles. Are you there, Mark? All right, let's go.